Welcome to our online reviewer for fisheries professionals. Our topic is Team on Aquatic Resources and Ecology, and we have 12 questions for today with short explanations for the answers. Are you ready? But first, please support my channel by liking the video and by subscribing. Thank you. So let's begin. Can withstand a small or narrow range of temperature change? A. Eurythermic organisms B. Stenothermic organisms C. Stenohaline organisms D. Homeothermic organisms 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The correct answer is letter B. Stenothermic organisms so we have the prefixes steno and uri. Steno means narrow, while uri means wide. This refers to the degree of tolerance of the organism. The question refers to temperature change. So the answer is stenothermic, where stenothermal or thermal refers to temperature. We have here other terminologies. Hydric, which refers to water, stenohydric, which means narrow water range, eurihydric, wide water range, stenohaline, narrow salinity range, eurihaline, wide salinity range, stenophagic, narrow food range, eurifagic, wide food range, stenoceous, narrow habitat range, Eurasius wide habitat range. Next question. A group of interacting species combined with the physical environment. A. Mutualism. B. Relativism. C. Ecosystem. D. Niche. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter C, ecosystem. So what makes up an ecosystem? We have the abiotic factors and the biotic factors. The biotic factors refers to all living things while the abiotic factors refers to the non-living things. So an ecosystem is a community of living organisms interacting with each other and their non-living environment. Next question. Blank zone is the bottom and deep water area which is beyond the depth of effective light penetration. This zone is often absent in ponds. A. Littoral B. Limnetic C. Profundal D. Benthic E. Pelagic 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 the correct answer is letter C, profundal zone. So this refers to the different lake zonations, the littoral, limnetic, profundal, photic, and benthic. So the question refers to the deep water area beyond the depth of effective light penetration. Ibig sabihin, hindi na nakakaabot yung sinag ng araw. So that refers to the aphotic zone, yung nasa ilalim, or the profundal zone. Take note that this zone is hindi nakikita sa ponds because yung mga ponds ay shallow or hindi ganun ka lalim. Next question. Interaction among organisms for a necessary resource that is short in supply. A. Predation B. Cannibalism C. Food web D. Competition 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The correct answer is letter D. Competition So there are three types of interactions between organisms. One is predation in which you have the predator and the prey competition and the symbiosis example of symbiosis is mutualism and commensalism kapag kulang yung resource for example food resource pagkain o kaya space ang tendency ay yung mga organisms ay magko-compete para magkaroon ng pagkain or 
magkaroon ng lugar. Kaya ang answer ay competition. Next question. Lakes that rarely or very slowly mixed, thermally stable, or circulate as in many tropical lakes. A. Meromictic. B. Dimictic. C. Polymictic. D. Oligomictic. E. None of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter D. Oligomictic. So these terminologies refer to circulation patterns in lakes. When we say amictic, never mix. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nagmimix yung tubig sa lake. Walang circulation. Yung sa baba, napupunta sa taas or sa shallow area. Or yung sa parte na nasis nasisinabi ng araw. You have also the meromictic in which the mixing is only partial. Holomictic, where there is a complete mixing. Oligomictic, do not mix every, every year or minsanan lang yung pag-circulate. Monomictic, once a year. Dimictic, twice a year. For example, during seasons. And polymictic, frequently yung mixing. Ito ay usually na nakikita sa mga shallow na tropical lakes with great wind exposure kasi yung lakas ng hangin ito yung tumutulong para magmix yung tubig sa lake or magcirculate next question blank are small bodies of water in which the littoral zone is relatively large and the limnetic and profundal regions are small or absent a ponds b bog C. Lake, D. Dam, A. Reservoir. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter A. Ponds. So if you can remember kanina, di ba yung answer sa isang question ay profundal. Meron tayong ipinakitang picture ng mga region sa lake, yung profundal is ito yung hindi na naaabutan ng sinag ng araw or sa malalim na naparte ng lake. So, yung tanong dito is, usually daw absent yung profundal region. So, kung absent siya, ibig sabihin, yung tinutukoy niya dito ay body of water na hindi ganun ka lalim. Kaya yung answer ay ponds. Kasi yung mga ponds, hindi sila ganun kalalim kaya wala silang profundal region o kaya naman ay small lang yung limnetic na region or limnetic zone. Next question. The region of the continental slope and rise is the A. Bathyal zone B. Littoral zone C. Intertidal zone D. Hadal zone E. Dark zone. The correct answer is letter A. Bathyal zone. So these terminologies refer to oceanic divisions or regions. Yung littoral at saka intertidal, dun yun siya sa shallow region. Yung hadal naman na zone ay nasa pinaka ilalim. So yung tanong dito is merong slope and rise. So based on the picture, the answer is Batyayal or the Batipelagic Zone. Next question. Reef located in shallow waters along the coast since these grow out from a landmass and are attached to it. A. Fringing Reef B. Atoll C. Barrier D. Loading 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 the correct answer is letter A, fringing reef. So there are three main types of reefs. One is barrier reef. It is a coral reef parallel to the shore but is separated by a channel of water. Atolls, 
a ring-shaped coral reef consisting of a coral rim that encircles a lagoon and fringing reef, a reef that forms around a land mass. Next question. Blank is a type of interaction between species wherein two organisms strive to obtain the same limited resource. A. Competition. B. Mutualism. C. Predation. D. Cannibalism. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter A. Competition. So this question is almost the same sa nasabi rin kanina. But here, yung organisms ay nagkakompit sila for the same resource or pareha ng resource. Example dito sa picture, nagkakompit sila sa not. Competition can either be interspecific or intraspecific. When you say interspecific, it happens between different species while intraspecific the competition happens within the same species next question estuary where the inflow of fresh water is small the tidal amplitude low and the evaporation very high the salinity of enclosed base may rise above that of the sea at least during some seasons a hypersaline B. Salty. C. Diverse. D. Desertified. E. None of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter A. Hypersaline. Remember that an estuary is a coastal body of water partially surrounded by land in which fresh water and salt water mix. So, if the inflow of fresh water or yung papasok na tubig tabang is small at saka yung evaporation ng tubig ay mataas, so tataas yung salinity ng tubig doon sa estuary or masyado siyang magiging maalap. Kaya ang sagot ay hypersaline kasi sobrang alat ng estuary kapag yung pumapasok na tubig tabang ay konti lamang. Next question. Philippine Coastal Area A. 266,000 square kilometers B. 256,500 square kilometers C. 270,000 square kilometers and D. 206,000 square kilometers 5, 4, Three, two, one. The correct answer is letter A. 266,000 square kilometers. So we have here facts and figures. The total territorial water, excluding the exclusive economic zone, 2.2 million kilometers or square kilometers. We have the total coastal area of 266,000 square kilometers in which about 27,000 square kilometers are coral reefs, about 1,300 are mangrove areas, 978 are seagrass beds, and the oceanic uh, area is about 17,000 square kilometers. Next question. The amount of oxygen required by microbes to degrade organic molecules in aquatic ecosystem. A. Respiration. B. Chemical oxygen demand. C. Oxygen depletion. D. Biochemical oxygen demand. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is letter D. Biochemical oxygen demand or B. O -D. So, BOD is used to measure the amount of organic material. Pag mataas yung BOD value or measurement, that means a lot more oxygen is needed for bacteria to decompose all the organic material. So, pag mas mataas yung 
by chemical oxygen demand, ibig sabihin mas marami yung organic material na dapat i-decompose sa area. So, ibig sabihin, mas polluted yung area pag mataas yung kanyang BOD or that means the water has a poor quality. Again, BOD, it is the quantity of oxygen used in the biochemical oxidation of organic material, usually by microbes or microorganisms. Usually, BOD is measured with a duration of 5 days at a specified temperature 20 degrees Celsius at specified conditions. Last question. Blank is the rate of storage of organic matter in plant tissues in excess of the respiratory utilization by the plant during the period of measurement. A. Net productivity. B. Gross primary productivity. C. Net community productivity. D. Detrital productivity. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter A. Net productivity. So, net productivity is the rate of storage of organic matter in plant tissues in excess of the respiratory utilization. So, we have here the formula NPP equals GPP minus R, where NPP means the net primary productivity, GPP is the gross primary productivity, minus the R or the respiration. So, ano ba itong GPP or gross primary productivity? Productivity. Ito yung glucose or sugar produced during photosynthesis. Yung respiration naman, ito yung glucose na ginagamit ng halaman to supply energy para sa kanyang mga cellular processes or to support um, physiological processes. So yung net primary productivity, ito yung natirang glucose Okay, available to be laid down as new material or biomass. That's why net primary productivity is equal to gross primary productivity minus the respiration. Congratulations! That's it for our review. Comment down if meron kang gustong topic na i-discuss or topic na gawa ng questions.